Hey y'all, how's it going? Today, I'm going to show you how to properly build and maintain a fire. Uh, what we're going to do today is pre-build our fire here in the fire pit before we get our tinder bundle going. And then once we get the tinder bundle going, we'll light the tinder in our pre-built fire and uh, we should have a nice roaring fire in, in no time at all. Uh, so what you want to do to begin is pre-gather all of your materials. Um, I've got some tinder here. Uh, this is made from uh, loose cedar bark. I've got some small twigs and sticks. Some small split sticks and then some larger split sticks to get us going. And then uh, once the fire is going and I have a nice coal bed, then I can start taking uh, my larger fuel sources and adding those to the fire. So to start, we're going to take the uh, smallest source of fuel, which is our tinder. We're going to place that in the fire pit. And then all we're going to do is take all of our other materials, starting from smallest and ending with the largest source of fuel that we have, and make a teepee structure around the fire. What this will do is it'll give the uh, fire a place to climb, and it'll also allow the oxygen to come in. So three things you want to keep in mind whenever you're building fire. This fire needs three things. It needs fuel, heat, and oxygen. Another thing you want to do as you're pre-building your fire is leave an open area in the front so that you can ignite your tinder. small twigs on, we'll go ahead and add some of these small split sticks. start moving up in size into our larger cool sources.
All right, so now that our fire is pre-built, all we need to do is uh, get a source of heat to add to the fuel, and we've taken care of oxygen already by allowing uh, the fire a place to climb, and also uh, because of our TP structure, the oxygen will be able to get in from the bottom. So let's uh, get started with the uh, the heat source. Um, and then we'll be right back. Once my tinder mode ignites, I'll go ahead and add it to the tinder in my pre-built fire. All right, so as you can see, um, there's less maintenance at this point because the, the fire structure has been pre-built. Um, so all we're doing is uh, letting our tinder ignite and then letting those uh, small pieces of fuel, the kindling, uh, split six, and then our larger pieces of fuel um, also ignite. So at this stage, you just want to keep keep an eye on the fire and make sure that um, all your firewood uh, is igniting. Uh, if it's not, then you can always add a little oxygen. So already um, a lot of our larger fuel sources are already igniting, already catching, and already burning. So um, at this point, um, all we're doing is, is just adding um, pieces.
So once you get that nice cool bed developed, your fire is going to be a lot easier to maintain. Those coals are providing the heat necessary to sustain your fire. All you need to do is keep adding the fuel. The larger your fuel, the longer it'll burn. So if you want to keep an all night fire going, you need to make sure that you're adding large logs. Also, if you're keeping an all night fire, chances are in the morning, um, after your fire's gone out, you'll be able to dig through the ashes and find uh, embers still in the coal bed uh, that you can use to recreate another fire. This will preserve your ferro rod, your matches, your lighter, um, your hand drill. Um, it'll just make it a lot easier for you to get another fire going the next day. Also, once you get that coal bed developed, um, it's going to be a lot better to cook on. The heat is uh, a lot more stable and you can spread your coals out to cover a larger um, area. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good night.